What's up guys, your boy Francis and welcome back to another video. Today we got this TikToker, Maddie Hart, talking about her dad, apparently her dad being a deadbeat dad. Right, come to find out the dad made a response video on that. It goes on and on and quite a lot of stuff that got back and forth and saying she's going to explain why she uh, saying her dad is a deadbeat and the dad is going to rebuttal and come back again and saying, uh, uh that's not the case. This is what really happened. We're going to take a look at Maddie's side and then we're going to be reacting to it. And then we're going to look at the dad's side and we're going to be reacting to it. But before we get down to it, don't forget to subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. What's a piece of trauma that you have? That's funny. It has to actually be funny. I'll go first. My dad abandoned my family when I was five years old that is um, a wife and four kids he abandoned us and then pursued amateur breakdancing and he got really good <laughs> he like blew up like he became like a d-list celebrity status like viral breakdancer he became like the oldest actively competing breakdancer in the world that's practically in interesting right there because the fact of the matter is like yo, the man is like you're never too old to pursue your dream man anything like that you can't knock someone to do to follow their passion but abandoning your kids that's a little bit extreme we think there's more to the story it's a one-sided so we need to see the other side obviously then he got on good morning america and talk shows and washington post wrote about him and he went super viral and he did all these interviews and he danced with paula abdul and here i'll show you to see take a look at this 60 year old break dancer yes 60 years old amazing competition in Philadelphia and he may not have won but he I tell you what he is winning over a lot of people on the internet yes. he really is yeah. yep he won a lot of people on the internet this guy wouldn't pay my medical bills Yo, that's crazy that he won't pay your medical bills if that's the truth right uh, if you guys picked the name his name is Bini Hanna which is a very that's very clever name that's a very cle clever name definitely I I, I dig that The worst part, damn it, he's good. He should not be able to move his body like that. It's like impossible. It's beautiful. Hey, dad. Like there was no split custody or anything. Like he just like left four kids to do that. He may not have paid for some of my medical bills growing up, but he did give me this breakdancing merchandise. So that's him. He's on his head. Benny Hanna is his b-boy name because his name is Ben Hart. You know, I'll get texts like this. Happy birthday, question mark. And then like links to his to his breakdancing videos so if you have funny trauma like actual funny haha -ha trauma i need to hear it thank you okay it seems to me like you know he's still staying in touch and everything like that but she said you know he pursued that just to leave him leave them alone and stuff there was no split custody whatsoever he just ended up leaving you know what that might be the case that might not be the case but you never know but what is the mom really telling you in that part you know what i mean maybe the mom is just telling her hey listen your dad abandoned us right there's no way he would have just chose break dancing over us but he did he left us he left us for 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 his passion and what whatsoever that might be the case you never know but the mom had to tell you what really happened but it seems like the mom was gatekeeping information for you now we're gonna hear the dad side of things and then we're gonna see what uh really unfold and everything like that Let's stick around this should be an interesting <laughs> back and forth right okay i wake up at 6 a.m to do some work i get my coffee i sit down i open my computer and what am i greeted with well hundreds of comments calling me a deadbeat dad a child abandoner and all manner of other insults. So I think, what's this all about? Well, after a few minutes of investigation, I discover that my daughter, Maddie, has made a video about me. You know the crazy part about this, like the whole thing is like, he feels like he's reading off his script right it doesn't feel genuine at all but like i think this might be in a way that he put down everything together to get his thought and everything not emotionally invested in it but all his thought properly in it so he doesn't lost his emotion that made him say things that he might not want to say and of course i love my daughter maddie and we get along great at least i think we do but a few corrections are in order or at least a few things that need to be put in context. First, I can see that as a five-year-old, Maddie would see her dad as having abandoned the family. One day I was living there, the next day I wasn't. And that will look like abandonment to a child. 
but married couples do get divorced about half the time in America. And I was just living a mile or so down the street in LaGrange, Illinois. Okay, so he didn't abandon her. Obviously, they got divorced and stuff like that. But then he's just saying, hey, I live like a mile away. Literally, I can walk to your house. That's how close we are. But yeah, a five-year-old at that time will honestly think that. But it's assured the mom should have been assuring her what's going on and saying, oh, that's not the case. We just left our separate way. We just weren't living under the same roof. Now, about not paying medical bills, that's just not correct. Here was the financial arrangement of the divorce. Maddie's mom, my ex-wife, got $2 million at the get-go. Oh my, that's $2 million from the get-go, $2 million. That means she's set practically for good. Right, if she managed that phone properly, that would last her forever. But I don't know how their lifestyle is and everything like that. But that, that two million, yo, that's insane. Out of the gate, a lump sum payment. Plus, I was paying her eighteen thousand dollars per month in child support and alimony. Eighteen thousand. Oh my days, this guy must have been rich before, before doing the break dancing thing and everything. Eight. Wow, that's impressive. This was later reduced to $12,000 per month. And of course, I paid health insurance and out-of-pocket medical costs. I also put $600,000 into the kids' college fund. In all, I paid out about $5 million to my ex-wife to cover costs for her and the kids. And this is in $2,005. So add 50% to account for inflation. In other words, I was not a deadbeat dad at all. And by the way, Maddie did not say that in her video. But a lot of the comments assume that and say that. Yeah, I would, just, I would assume if you leave your family and then abandon your family, obviously they're going to call you a deadbeat dad. But ridiculously, like how the financials that was set up and everything, it seems like he was still taking care of them, right? Monthly, 18000 Now it's it dropped down to 12000 But 12000 a month? And then you're taking care of the medical bills and everything. What is the mom doing at that moment? You know what I'm saying? What is she doing in that moment? That's crazy. Okay. Honestly, I would say that one, that one needs to be justified. Now, of course, there was no way for Maddie to know how much I was paying because she was a kid. This wasn't something I talked about. Also, remember that I was living one mile down the road from the kids in LaGrange, Illinois. Sidewalks all the way. An easy walk or bike ride. I saw the kids all the time. No abandonment, just a divorce. Hey, that, that's where it's supposed to be. It's like it's, he didn't abandon, he just divorced. There's so much more unfold on the story and everything. If you guys want to go check it out, you guys can go check out the full stories and everything. Uh, it's on his website, um, not website, on his Twitter. And um, Ben and Wanda Hart, that's the that's his uh, profile. Okay, you can go check out everything. And also you can go check out the uh, Maddie one in Brian West. Okay, Instagram, you can go check it, the viral one. So... And all the whole to say, right, he didn't abandon his child. He take care of his child, obviously, in the way he's supposed to. Maybe not being there, like actual physically being there, but financially he took care of them. He never abandoned them. It was just a divorce. Later on in the video, he explained why they got a divorce. Him and the wife they were not compatible enough. But if they would not got together, the, her siblings... Uh, Maddie and her siblings wouldn't have been born. Everything wouldn't have been happy. And of course, he was happy, obviously, to have them in his life, right? He, he stayed all that in the video. So, and all in all, it just seems like the mom should have reassured the daughter what really happened and what's going on, but the mom never did. So that's where that miscommunication comes in and everything, and she made this video. It seems like the dad has a good, healthy relationship with her kid, with his kids, but it doesn't seem like Maddie understand. And I went and go check out Maddie's page on, um, on TikTok. But it seems like she turned her page into private and no longer available. So that's quite interesting to see why she did that and stuff like that. Because there probably be a lot of backlash coming her way also. But it's warranty also when people were backlashing the dad and saying a bunch of things like this. It's not good either, right? So I am glad that he came out and say, but I don't like, it feels like he's reading a robotic, right? No emotion towards it. It kind of emotionally detached, 
But that might be the case why Maddie will say this, right? Because you feel like she, he's most emotionally detached from them. All in all to say, to he said, she said, he has his receipts and everything. Now, if the mom will be like, hey, clear everything out, yeah, that's true. Everybody will be like, all right, cool. That's just a family drama a dynamic. Y'all go figure it out. Y'all need counseling or something. You know what I'm saying? But that's going to be the end of the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe greatly. Appreciate it. It comes a long way. It helps my channel grow greatly. We're trying to grow 2024. All right, peace out.